Welcome back everyone, I hope you're doing well, and in this video, we're going to take a look at two growth stocks that currently trade below $25 a share and maybe a great buy at their current prices. And these companies operate in very different sectors of the market, we have one big tech company and a strong consumer brand, and going forward, they operate in fast expanding industries with huge future growth potential, and we're expecting their share price to continue to develop and grow for many years in the future. And for each stock, we're going to take a look at the company's current operations, their financials, and their future projections for the next five years in the future. And before we jump into the first company, I'm going to ask you to please hit that like button and subscribe. I am the Gen Z Investor, and every single day we talk about the stock market, going over different stocks you can buy, and any major market news. So please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for the daily videos, and the first high growth company that currently trades below $25 a share is ticker PLTR, and that is Palantir. Their share price currently sits right around $23, and the company has a market cap above $42 billion. But as of late, they are on a major decline, and from their high of over $38 per share, the company has now fallen back down 38% to the $23 level. So Palantir is a big data company that operates in an industry only continuing to grow each and every year. And during this major decline, ARK Invest has been loading up on shares and currently owns over 18 million shares of Palantir. And starting in February of 2021, when the share price started to crash, ARK was buying heavy and has invested over $300 million into Palantir over the last two months. So they might see a ton of potential for this company to expand their market share going forward and have been loading up on the shares as the company continues to fall in price. And if you've never heard of Palantir or you don't know how the company operates, essentially as a big data player, they've developed a proprietary software that enables different organizations or even governments to integrate all of their data, which we have a lot of now through the digital society that we live in, into one single and easy to use platform and allows for great analysis of that vast amount of data. And having a lot of data points for a company isn't really useful unless they can turn it into valuable information and that's what Palantir does. Their software allows different organizations to harness incredible amounts of data and actually turn it into useful information to help answer complex questions. So going forward, now as we live in a digital society where everything is tracked and documented and every second of our lives is pretty much known from the companies we use on a daily basis, that's so much information and data that Palantir allows them to process that and actually make decisions off of all that vast amounts of information. And they've been growing at a tremendous rate. And if we take a look at their latest quarterly report, total revenue was up 47% year over year and the total sales can be broken down into two main business segments, which include the commercial business, which generated 44% of their total top line, which was 482 million in 2020. And that number was up 107% over the 2019 amount. And if we take a look at their other business segment, which is actually government business, where they generated 610 million of total sales in 2020, that makes up the remaining 56% of their total revenue, and that number was up 77% year over year. And the company just announced yesterday another major partnership with the US government, and this contract is over the next five years with a value of 90 million. So they continue to develop new relationships and deals with some of the world's leading governments, which is absolutely incredible. And just in the fourth quarter of 2020, they signed 21 more deals that were worth over $5 million. So the company continues to grow and sign new clients worth multi-millions every single year, and the total full year revenue in 2020 grew 47%. And what's impressive, for this software company, they're maintaining incredible gross margins, which grew to 81% in the full 2020 year, and a contribution margin of 54% overall. So that's absolutely incredible. Their margins are improving so fast, and over the next few years, I think the company's going to approach very high levels of profitability. And for the full 2021 year, they're expecting another 30% growth in their total revenue, and for this first quarter, they have a projection of 45%. And over the longer term, 
they're projecting over $4 billion of revenue in 2025. So in 2020, they generated just around 1 billion in total sales. So that means over the next five years, they're trying to 4X their total revenue and achieve more than 4 billion over that next timeline. And I think the company can do that. They continue to develop new partnerships with governments and some of the largest tech organizations. And a new deal they just made was actually with IBM. So I think Palantir is doing a lot of the right things. The big data sector is only projected to expand long into the future and their software is already beloved by their customers. They have a very high retention rate. And when the governments are using them all the time, I think it really shows that this company has a solid product and will be around for decades to come. So definitely take some time and do the research into Palantir. The company is down over 38% from their highs and ARK has been loading up on shares. So now might be a great opportunity to buy the dip for this big data company with a ton of future growth potential as the shares now trade below $25. And now we're gonna move on into stock number two, which is ticker TTCF and that is Tattoo Chef. They currently trade right around $20 per share with a market cap at 1.5 billion. And this is a company I own in my high risk, high reward stock portfolio. And I own 70 shares with a market value of just under $1,400. And I should mention, I do own a few shares of Palantir as well, 20 shares with a total market value of $468. So these are two companies I personally believe in and do have my own capital invested in. And I do think they will grow over the long term. So Tattoo Chef is a company we have discussed on the channel before, and they're one of the leaders in the fast growing frozen plant-based food market. And although they still trade at a very small market cap, they're distributed all across the country. And we can see as of late, their share price did reach a high of over $26, but has now fallen back down to the $20 level, which represents a 25% decline. So again, another company that may be a great opportunity and a great time right now to buy the dip. So if we take a look, Tattoo Chef is one of the leaders in this market because there isn't a lot of competition right now. Although a lot of the big names are coming out with some boring plant-based options, Tattoo Chef is one of the only companies that is now nationally distributed that has unique, fun, and creative packaging with a very tasty product. And every single year, Tattoo Chef continues to deliver new options to the market, and by the end of 2021, they're expecting to have 62 different SKUs with different products for every single meal and snack. And right now, the company is a national brand. Their total points of distribution in 2020 grew 155% over the 2019 number, and they're currently in over 2,600 Walmarts, 600 Sam Clubs, over 500 Costco's, and over 400 Targets all across the nation. And at the year end 2020, they had 23,000 total points of distribution, and their objective for 2021 was to be in 10,000 stores with over 65,000 points to be sold all across the nation. And the company just shared a major announcement in early March 2021 that Target was gonna take six of their products nationwide. And that's incredible. For one of the largest retailers in the country and Target to take six of their food products all across the country is absolutely huge. And that means that Tattoo Chef is gonna be in front of consumers in every state and really open up their market share to a whole new level. And I think as we start to see the results of this Target nationwide rollout, I think the company's sales are going to skyrocket way past their current level. And some of the products offered all across the country include the California Mac and Cheese, the Buddha Bowl, and the plant-based burrito bowl as well. So going forward, I think Target's can be a huge market for Tattoo Chef, and this is a great sign that still so early on in their development, they can go nationwide in a top retailer. And another aspect of Tattoo Chef's business that's really attracting me to the company is the fact that although they're a food name, they're going to focus on e-commerce as well. Because although they are getting massive distribution in retail stores, they have to split the profits with these big box retailers. But if they can go direct to consumer through their online website, they're going to have higher margins and increased profitability at a much faster rate. 
and younger generations who are their target market for these products are very used to ordering food and other goods online. So if they can build up a strong digital presence, I think it's going to really transform the company to a whole new level. Because right now, there's not a lot of food names where you order your groceries directly from the actual company rather than the middleman of the food retailer. So if Tattoo Chef can go direct to consumer in the food space, I think it's really going to open up new opportunities and really let the company grow at a much faster rate above their current competition. And the company now has just launched their first ever national ad campaign. So they've gone up to this level with very minimal spend on marketing. And they just unveiled a six second and a 15 second commercial to air on the leading TV and cable networks connected all across the United States. So for the company to continue to grow year over year at a CAGR of over 50% and generate hundreds of millions of dollars in sales without any national advertising is extremely impressive. And I think now they're doing everything right. They're adding more fuel to the fire. And I think the growth is only going to be exponential over the next few years. And the company has laid out their future growth projections up until 2026. For the current year, they're projecting 220 million of total revenue with adjusted EBITDA of between 8 and 10 million. And then in 2022, up to 300 million, 2023, 500 million in total revenue. And then finally, in 2026, they're projecting a total of $1 billion in annual sales with a gross margin above 35% and adjusted EBITDA around 20% of the total revenue. So if they can achieve this number of $1 billion in annual sales, I think the company is gonna be worth way more than where they are right now. They currently trade with a $1.5 billion market cap. So if they can continue to grow at their current rate, and even if they just achieve their very conservative projections in my opinion, I think the company will be able to two to five X in only a matter of years. So Tattoo Chef is definitely another brand in a growing market in the plant-based vegan alternative space that's going to continue to grow. I think the company is trading at a very attractive valuation. They are down 25% from their high, so it might be a great time to buy the dip. And I'm not the only YouTuber that is bullish on Tattoo Chef. Jeremy from Financial Education owns more than half a million dollars of this company and continues to buy more as the share price has been falling. So he's a big ball in the company. I am personally a big ball in the company. And I think going forward, Tattoo Chef is definitely a small growth company to do some research into that currently sits below the $25 level. So now we're gonna wrap up the video. In total, we took a look at Palantir and of course Tattoo Chef, two big growth companies on major declines as of late in respect to 38% in Palantir and 25% in Tattoo Chef. And both companies, although they have seen a big drop, are projected to grow at incredible rates for the next few years. So if you're looking for some smaller cap growth companies, take a look at Tattoo Chef. If you want some exposure into the big tech sector and the big data analytical field, take a look at Palantir. Remember, I am not a financial advisor. You have to do your own research, speak with a qualified professional. I'm just here to share my personal opinions, go over some slideshows and some different information. I'm not making any recommendations. You have to do your own research. And before we log off, I'm going to ask you to please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so. I am the Gen Z Investor. We talk about the stock market every single day and I will see you in tomorrow's video.